A day after Interior Transport and Health Ministries snubbed summons by Parliament over the coronavirus query, on Wednesday, representatives of the said ministries appeared before the Joint National Assembly and Senate Health Committees. Interior Principal Secretary Karanja Kebicho allaying fears of any possible outbreak or room for importation of the coronavirus into the country. The Ministry of Health has confirmed that none of the 239 uh, passengers who came to this country has shown any signs of uh, infection of the coronavirus. Kibicho said the government has trained immigration officers at respective entry points for screening purposes. Besides the screening that is being done uh, by the Ministry of Health, is that every passenger who is entering into this country, uh, the Department of Immigration, is uh, without exception taking all the travel history of all the passengers, and specifically for passengers who have been uh, in the last two weeks have uh, been uh, directly uh, flying from uh, China. Transport Cabinet Secretary James Masharia confirmed that no single flight was arriving into the country from China directly. As of now, we don't have any direct flights between Kenya and China. Subsequently, as of yesterday, we added northern Italy to that list. Because if you look at the hotspots, as they are being called right now, the hotspots of this coronavirus, now northern Italy, meaning uh, Milan and Verona, these are the, some of the hotspots which we have right now. Masharia said through various plane captains, his ministry has been able to monitor all passengers and has ensured no passenger with direct link to China has been into the country. Airline is carrying passengers to this country. They need to know where they came from. And that responsibility lies with the captain of the flight. Meanwhile, the transport ministry says it's consulting on whether to evacuate students stranded in China. On the preparedness of the country to prevent and control spread of coronavirus into the country, the questions by the members went unanswered. They were directed to Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe, who did not make time for the joint committee. Bagadi District Hospital has been set aside to act as an isolation center. It is expected to be fully operational by Friday this week as per the president's directive. Governments around the world are scrambling to introduce measures to contain the spread of the COVID-19, even as transmission in China, where the virus originated at the end of last year, continues to show signs of slowing. We call upon the members of the public, the medical fraternity, and all the players to be very vigilant, take pre uh, preventive measures, so that in case of an outbreak, we are not left behind as a county. We must all be vigilant, and we must all work together to confront this new enemy. The epidemic is not as widespread in Africa as in other continents, but it has led airlines like South African Airways, Royal Air Maroc Air, Tanzania Air Mauritius, Egypt Air, Rwanda Air and Kenya Airways to suspend flights to and from China. Purity Museo, Channel 1 News.